What up guys? I'm over here in Taunton, Massachusetts. Um, it's right outside of Boston. Uh, I was hauling a Tony's pizza load. It was about 38,000 pounds. About, no, about 39. Um, it was all on the floor, no pallets. Uh, so I got here to the customer today and I got here pretty dang early. I got here about before one o'clock and um, my appointment wasn't until four so they finally got me a door and they didn't get me unloaded until about 10 o'clock at night so I've been sitting here all day I had to order food um, luckily there were some drivers that gave me a little menu for these people that deliver nearby <clears throat> um, so yeah I ordered me some food and uh, they were also prime drivers so we had a little prime meet you know what I'm saying we we're out here and uh, one of the one of the guys was a student one of the guys was a trainer and uh, you know I was just cutting it up with them for a while um, one second. so yeah orientation was cool um, I think it was like a three or four day it was about a three day orientation <clears throat> um, since I already had previous driving experience working over at Landstar um, I got to come over and just go straight into the orientation and then straight into the lease so I had tons of classes yeah they called me at 545 in the morning you know to the to the hotel room I did have a, a bunk mate um, I did have to ride the Greyhound bus from Atlanta, Georgia to Springfield, Missouri. So those Greyhound buses are no fun, especially when you have layovers and stuff, and um, you're <laughs> you're sleeping sitting straight up. You know what I'm saying? You got to share seats with people. I mean, a couple of the bus rides were cool. You know what I'm saying? Where I had my own space at the back of the bus and I could chill out and relax and stuff. But some of them were so crowded and packed that. You know what I'm saying? It just, yeah, and I got the end seat, and you know, there's just no room. And you're tired, you know. I didn't get to Springfield till about five in the morning, and then I still, we had to get a shuttle over to the hotel, get checked in, do all that stuff, finally get our rooms, and then the next day we pretty much chilled and slept all day. So, but the orientation is cool because they give you, um, I guess, food coupons, and each one of those coupons has about $7.75 on them. This goes for if you're in orientation and you're just doing like a lease like what I did, or if you're actually going through the whole program to, you know, learn how to drive, get your CDL, do your permit, go out with a trainer and all that stuff. So they take care of you. Um, they give you food coupons. Then whenever you get on the truck with your trainer, I believe they give you like $200 a week to live on. Um, but you gotta pay it back at the end. So they load that onto your Com Data card. Um, so yeah, once you get through the orientation, you gotta do like a whole day's worth of computer classes and exams and videos. You gotta do your drug testing. You gotta do um, just basically a bunch of stuff. After you get through all that, you get to go look at the trucks. So kinda how it works is uh, there's all these leases, right? Some of them might be new trucks, some of them might be old trucks. Um, you know, for people that went to Prime, but decided not to stay at Prime, so they didn't finish out their lease, like you might be coming into one of those trucks and it might only have like a year and a half left on the lease. Um, or you could get a newer truck that's got three years on the lease, you know, this, every situation is different. But from my understanding how it works is anything over 2,900 miles they pay you five cents a mile for a solo driver. I believe if you run team, it's a little bit less, but all that money basically goes into your payout fund at the end of your lease. So I have a two and a half year lease on this truck. And at the end of the lease, all those miles that I ran over $2,900 or 2,900 miles is gonna go into my payout fund. So. That's why it's a good idea to run as hard as possible because you're just you're tossing all that money into your payout fund at the end of your lease. You know, a lot of these guys get some pretty pretty nice payouts at the end of their lease. You know, whenever you bring it back in, I think they deduct like anything that's wrong with your truck. Like you know, if if you messed some shit up or broke some shit, um, 
you know, they deduct all that stuff from your payout. Um, so, you know, don't wreck your truck and don't, you know, treat your, tr treat your truck like your baby, you know, it's your business and, um, you know, be, uh, be presentable out here. You know, don't, don't be pulling up to the customers with crap all over your dash, you know, dirty truck, you know, because our trucks are reflections of ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, um, whenever you get, uh, you get to go look at the list, you'll go over to success leasing and they'll have, um, there'll be the lady at the front. She's sitting up there. She's got a list of trucks and then you can walk over to the big flat screen and they also got a list of trucks. Um, I got lucky with mine because I was like, hey, can you call me in the morning, you know, as soon as you have something come available. And um, it was kind of cool how it worked out because before before I even came to Prime, I was like, I really, really want a green truck with the amber lights. And I just love everything about the way that the green and the amber go together. And um, so I, I got over to Prime and I honestly, my, my kind of mentality was I'm going to let everybody go first and fight over which trucks they want and do all that stuff. And then afterwards, hopefully a new truck will come in and then I'll get that truck. But she called me, uh, it was like eight o'clock in the morning and, um, I don't know how, but the green truck was still open. Nobody had got on the list and I was like, put me down on the green one. I want the Irish green truck. You know, it's a 2015. This thing only has 130,000 miles on it, and it's just badass. Hold on a second, let me hit this vape. So, after, after they give you the paperwork for the truck, they'll also give you an inspection sheet. So the inspection sheet has like 200 things that you have to go through. So you're gonna go out to the lot, you're gonna find your truck wherever it is on that lot and you're gonna go through the inspection thing one by one I mean it has every like everything from the buttons the windows the mirrors the exterior the interior um, every little thing the list is huge so you really 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 want to go through that list and you really I would also recommend to get a friend if you meet somebody there you know that knows a lot about you know mechanical work and stuff like that always get a second eye you know get a second opinion and have somebody go through the truck with you so you can really mark every little scratch that's on the truck because at the end of the, your lease they're gonna take out all of that so you really really want to um, make sure that you get all the stuff on there so and then I think you have like 60 I don't know 60 days or something like that to mark anything down that you find like if you're going down the road and you notice something isn't right you have 60 days to mark it down on the list so yeah so after I got my truck um, uh, what else did I have to do 